countries are named after a variety of things. Most are named for the people living there, some are named after just one specific person, and others are named after a tree. In April of 1500, a man by the name of Pedro Alvarez Cabral stepped out onto land thousands of miles away from his home. This land would later become Brazil, and Pedro was the first European to ever step foot in it. This would kick off hundreds of years of Portuguese colonization, which would only officially end in 1825. What they left behind was quite a lot, but the most noticeable remnant of Portuguese colonization was the Portuguese language, which is still the primary language spoken in Brazil today, and is of course where the nation of Brazil gets its name from in the first place. Brazil is a shortened version of the name Terra do Brasil, which means Land of Brazil, and the Brazil it's referring to is the Brazil wood tree. I wonder if I can break the record for saying Brazil the most times in a sentence. Anyways, the story goes that around the time the first Portuguese arrived, they spotted these trees growing near the coast and went, hey, that kind of looks familiar. Assuming these trees had to be related to the Asian sapon wood tree, the Portuguese already knew produced red dye. So they were delighted to discover, after cutting one down, that they were right. This tree was in fact related to sapon wood, and yeah, it produced red dye. The Portuguese gave the tree the name Pau Brasil, Pau meaning wood, and Brasil coming from the Portuguese word Brasa meaning ember. Since red dye was in high demand, this tree quickly became a very hot commodity. In fact, it became the biggest thing exported out of the region, which led to it getting the name Land of Brazil. As for the tree itself, its scientific name is Palpacilia echinata. You can probably guess where it gets the Palpacilia part from, but as for the echinata, it just means spiny. A lot of species happen to use that as a descriptor apparently, mostly plants, but not all plants. Just uh, thought that was a cool fact. Anyways, Brazil wood trees are found in, well, Brazil. Specifically, the Atlantic Forest region of Brazil, which stretches from the state of Rio Grande do Norte to Rio Grande do Sul before going inland into parts of Argentina and Paraguay. Dye isn't the only thing the tree has been used for. In fact, it's often regarded as the perfect wood for musical bows. If you've ever played a violin, for example, there's a good chance you've used Brazil wood. This has led to some problems, however, because Brazil wood is now endangered. In fact, it's likely that the trade of this wood will be completely banned at some point in an attempt to reverse its decline. Brazil was named Brazil due to the harvesting of this tree, and now today, its namesake faces extinction due to that very harvesting. Although this tree is a national symbol, and if the ban goes forward and efforts to preserve it continue, there's hope the species will one day be plentiful again. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.